One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Black fish, blue fish, old fish, new fish. This one has a little star. This one has a little car. Say, what a lot of fish there are. Hey guys, welcome back to HMA Gallery. Today, we are focusing on one of my favorite authors of all time, Dr. Seuss. As you can see, we have a lot of his books. I have even more here in my book nook than what I have laid out here before you, but that's not important. That's not what we're talking about today. We are gonna be focusing on the art of Dr. Seuss. Fun fact, did you know that Dr. Seuss's real name was Theodore Geisel? Anyways, today we are gonna be drawing some Dr. Seuss characters together, and I hope that you'll join me. The first one we're gonna be doing is going to be Horton from Horton Hears a Who, and the second one that we're gonna be doing is going to be the Lorax. So come along, draw with me, and let's have some fun together. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do for our Horton is we are going to have to draw a circle for the head. So the head is kind of an oval shape. So I'm going to sketch lightly. Remember, always sketch lightly to start out with. That way if you mess up, it's easier to erase. So we lightly sketch an oval. And this is going to be his head. And now we have to sketch an oval for the body. Now Horton is kind of a chubby elephant because elephants are. So we are going to sketch a big circle here for the body, just like this. And it's okay that they overlap like that because this is just our outline. We have to do our outline first before we do all of the solid lines that we are going to keep. So now what we're gonna do is figure out where we wanna put, hmm, I think we'll do the first ear. So we're gonna have one ear coming up and over and out to the left, it's kind of like a wave. Up and over and out to the left, just like that. And then we're gonna curve it at the top. And bring it down. And then we're gonna give it a couple of little wisps, kind of like, like clouds. And they're gonna arch back up and touch the side of the head. So there's our first ear. And now the second ear is gonna be off to the right. So we're gonna come up and over, and it arches up like the last one. This one's gonna curve down a little bit more. It's just a little bit different angle because he is gonna be looking off to the right. Okay? And we're gonna curve it up, and then same thing that we did for that last ear. We're gonna do one loop and two loops over here. Just like that, okay? So now we're gonna add some detail inside of this ear. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so that you can see. There we go. So we're gonna have a line that comes up and kind of follows the curvature of the ear. So you're just kind of following the shape of that line that you already drew for the outside of the ear on the inside. We're just gonna give it a little bit of shape there. And then right inside, we're gonna give them a little bit of hair. So just some lines coming out. So there's our first ear. And now we're gonna move over here to the right. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna have a line coming up and over, following the curvature of the ear. Up and over, have another line coming down, like that. And then we're gonna have some lines drawn for the hair, just like that. Now we have our two ears. Now I'm ready to start with the inside of the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase out that line since I don't need it anymore. Just like that. All right. All right, now that we've erased out that center part of his head, we can go ahead and add some details. So the first detail that I wanna add is up here, his forehead comes up and arches over just a little bit almost like a big loose letter M. So we have this hump and then another hump, just like that. And now we're gonna give him his eyes. So in here we have to imagine that 
his eyes are looking off to the right. So the head, if we imagine this is a cylinder um, or a sphere, since it's an oval, I'm kind of going to give this curved line right here in the middle of the face. This is just for my brain to know where the eyes are located and what direction that they're facing. So here I'm going to give one eye a circle here. And I'm going to give them another circle over here, just like that. So he's got his two eyes, and they're going to be looking up and over to the right. So I'm going to give him his little pupils up in the upper right-hand side of each of those eyes. And then I'm going to have a curve coming up off of each eye. This is kind of like the eyelid. And then he's got a few little eyelashes coming off to the right, just like that. And then he's also got some lines coming out from under each eye, going up to the left, just like that. Now we can carefully erase out those lines that we don't need anymore. Now that we have everything measured up where we want it. There we go. And then up here, he's got these cute eyebrows because he's a curious elephant. He's got these eyebrows arching up and over each eye, like so. And then he's got these wrinkles in his forehead, just like this. If at any point you need to pause, and um, catch up with me, please feel free to do so. I'm going to erase out some of these other lines that I don't need anymore from my outline. <clears throat> All right, we're going to give Horton some hair up here. <clears throat> so I'm going to put some hair coming up off the top of his head, just like that. Now, he needs a trunk. No elephant looks like an elephant unless it has its trunk. So I'm gonna start on the right side of my oval and I'm gonna curve in a little bit, down, and back over. So it kinda of looks like a fish hook in a way. Coming off of the oval from the head, curving down into the middle of our circle for the body, and then coming back up. Now the other side of the trunk isn't gonna quite be all the way over on the left side of the oval. It's gonna come in just a little bit. Start it there. And it's gonna follow along the shape of the right line, but it's gonna get smaller as it gets into the end of the trunk. Just like that. Notice how it started out fatter, and it got narrow, 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 narrow until the very tip of the trunk is the narrowest part. And then we're gonna give a little heart at the end of our trunk, like that. All right, now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna erase out this line because we don't need it anymore. There we go. Now inside of the trunk, there's a lot of little lines. I like to start at the end of the trunk and have little lines curving all the way up the trunk, just like that. Okay. This gives our trunk a little more shape. And they get smaller as they get up here. Okay? And now he's got to have a smile because he is a happy elephant. So right off of the left side, I'm going to curve up and over and have a nice, happy smile for our Horton, just like that. Okay. And then he's got a couple little wrinkle lines from his smile. And then I'm going to 
widen out the left side of his face just a little, like that. Okay, now we need to work on, hmm, let's do the legs. I think I wanna work on the legs next. So we're gonna come down here below the trunk and we're gonna work on the legs. So the legs start in the middle of the face. So if you imagine an invisible line going down the middle of the head, down the middle of the trunk, and coming down off of the bottom, this is where his legs are gonna be. So I have a leg here, and I have a leg diagonally coming over here. And we're gonna continue it up a little ways, just like this. And then we have another leg over here like this. So there's his two legs. And we got some wrinkles coming off over here. So we have the straight line down in the middle, the two curved lines coming down to meet at the bottom of that. Now we're gonna have a line coming diagonally off of either side. One over here and one over here. And then we're gonna connect that with a flat line, just like that. So there's his two feet. I'm gonna erase out the lines I don't need anymore. There we go. I like to erase out my outlines as I go because as I start adding more detail, sometimes it looks a little muddied up if I have too many outlines going. So I like to erase out some of those outlines. Here and here, and here and here for his toes. Okay, now he needs a body. So I'm gonna come up here, coming all the way back up to the ear. I'm gonna curve it out and over to connect to the bottom of that body, down by where his feet are. I think that's good. And then over here, we're gonna have it curve down and out. And continue on behind the trunk, just like that. There we go. So there's the body of our elephant. Okay. What else does our elephant need? I think he needs some knees. Oh yeah, don't forget his knees. So we're gonna do little curly cues here for his knees. Just like that. And then we're gonna put some wrinkles up here by his neck. Some other ones over here by his neck. And then he needs some grass down here. So for the grass, it doesn't have to look spectacular, just however you envision your grass looking. Now, what is he holding? He's got to be looking at something. So I'm going to have him holding up this cute little puff ball where he met his friends in Horton Hears a Who. So in my little circle, almost like a lollipop with a squiggly stem, and then some little lines beaming off of it, just like that. All right. And there you have it, your Horton from Horton Hears a Who. All right guys, so the first part of drawing the Lorax, we are gonna be working with our paper in portrait mode. This is important because it's gonna be taller and um, thinner when we finish with it. And I don't want you to run out of room on your paper. A lot of times I have art students who run out of room and they'll either have the head cut off or the bottom feet cut off. And then that causes a lot of frustration after so much hard work to get to the end of it and not have enough room. So we wanna start with our paper the right way, long ways, up and down, portrait. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we are going to sketch out the body. So we're gonna come over to the right and we're gonna have kind of the back side of him, the right side of him, 
is long and comes kind of in a pretty straight line and curves down a little bit at the very, very bottom, curves in just a little bit. And now we're gonna have his belly. His belly comes out a little bit, so we're gonna have this line arched, just like so. Okay? Just like that. Actually, I think I'm gonna make his belly a little bit bigger. And it's okay if we have to do this right now because we're just sketching. So if you mess up, you can always make things a little bit wider and then go back and erase out the parts that you didn't wanna keep. So now, now we're gonna come up here and decide uh, where we wanna put his head. So the thing that I noticed about the Lorax is he has a big mustache. So for that big mustache, we're gonna have to come to a point where his nose is. So we're gonna draw his nose, which is an arch, and then a flat line, so kind of like a half circle. So it's flat at the bottom, and then arches up just like this. And his mustache is gonna come out from under that. So it curves way up, to the left and down and then over here we're gonna have the same thing to the right Curves way up to the right and down you want to try to have them fairly even they don't have to be perfectly even but try your best to get them as even as possible okay so up and down to the right up and down to the left, like this, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and draw in some of those lines to make it look more like hair. So we come back up and over, we start at the bottom, bring it down a little bit and curve it up and back over again. And then here, they don't all have to be perfect, so this one's gonna squiggle in a little bit and then come up and back over, like that. And then over here we have a smaller one. Squiggles in and comes up and back over. We have a few that are coming in closer toward the where the mouth would be in the middle. And right about there. We're gonna bring it almost up to the nose, but not quite. I'm gonna stop right there. All right, so there's the left side of his mustache, and now we're gonna come over to the right side. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start with an arch down, curves back up and over, and then another line down, curves up and back over. You want them to be kind of pointy because I notice on the Lorax's mustache the lines of the hair kind of come down to points. So here's one point, comes up, back over. There's another one, and another one. Backed up just like that. Okay? So there's the mustache of my Lorax. A little line in here I don't want, so I'm gonna erase out that line. All right. Now inside the nose, we're gonna give him two little loops for his nostrils. Just like that. Let me zoom in so you can see what I did. Right there. I just put two little loops, one right here and one right here. All right. Now, he needs a set of eyes. The eyes come up just above the nose, not too high. You don't want them way up in here. They're just above the nose. So we're gonna have the bottom of the eye here on the right, and then the bottom of the eye here on the left. He is looking up to the right, so keep that in mind. The angle of my pencil is the direction that his eyes are gonna be looking. So we're gonna arch these. Here, 
there's this first eye. And I'm gonna arch the second eye. So there are his two eyes. Notice how they're a little bit diagonal. Now, when we're doing the pupils, his are big. So we're gonna have a curved line here, and then we're gonna have a curved line here. Just like that. And then I'm gonna fill it in, leaving a little tiny line of white for that pupil. Fill it in, leaving a little tiny white. All right. Now I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so we can continue working on his head. My camera is shaky today for some reason. I don't know why. So now if you imagine his head is gonna be arched just above the eyes. So I'm gonna draw a very, very light line once again so I can imagine in my head where everything is gonna be. So there's the top of his head. But he is known for his big, bushy eyebrows. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna make one big, bushy eyebrow. Bring it up and over. And have it hairy, because he is a hairy Lorax. So here's his bushy eyebrow. Just like that. And then he's got another bushy eyebrow off to the right. So I'm going to start that one here, it's going to come over and I'm going to make the zigzags on that one also for all the hair. And I imagine it goes down to the right side of his head. So there's his big bushy eyebrows. Now for the middle of the forehead, it actually dips down, so I'm going to erase out that line have this line curve down and back up because that's how his actual forehead is but we had to just kind of get a bearing of where we were gonna put things so I just drew my arch there we go and we got that all fixed all right now we can continue on with the rest of the body Scoot my paper down just a little so you can see what I'm working on. Okay. So the next thing that I want to work on is actually going to be the feet. So down here where we had this line curve in, I'm going to have it come back out just a little ways and curve over and back up. This is going to be his first foot. So there's his first foot. arching back up and now this we're going to continue all the way over to touch that foot because this foot is going to be on the other side of his body so this one is in what we call the foreground and this one is going to be in the background so it's going to start here curve over to the left it's going to arch back like that. Alright, so there are his two feet. And then he has a little bit of hair on his back, so we're going to put a couple of lines coming down. Not too much, it's like barely visible there. Now he needs his arms. His arms are crossed. Now this can be a little tricky for some people, so we're going to have a lot of sketching. Sketch lightly. And then once you get it how you want it, we can come back and erase out the lines that we don't need. So I'm gonna start here, off the left side of his body, and his first elbow comes out to the left a little ways, and then curves back over to the right. So kind of an L shape is what we're making here, just like that. And we're gonna continue it Across the middle of the body and then arch it down just a hair. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw that entire arm and then have the right arm overlapping it. So we're going to start over here in the crook of the elbow. I've erased out that line that I don't need anymore. It's going to come over and 
then up a little ways for the hand. Like that. And then he's got his fingers. He's got one finger here, another finger here, and then the last finger is shorter right there. So there's his first hand. So I'm gonna start up here, just to the left. So just above the crook of this elbow, I'm gonna have an arch, comes up and down, and then underneath those fingers. So it arches up, down, and just underneath the fingers. And then it comes back, up and over that arm. And then here, I'm gonna have it come down to an elbow, and then curve back up and over. Just like that, okay? So, if you'll notice, this line comes down and up. This one comes over and down and back up. And now we can erase out these lines that we don't need from where that other arm was. And once you do that, he's got his arms crossed. You can fix the fingers a little bit. All right. And then we can give him a little bit of hair on his elbow there, just like that. There we go, there's his arms that are all crossed. And then down here, we can also give him some fur coming off of his elbow. Now he needs somewhere to stand. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna give him a log. So starting behind the feet, we're gonna imagine this big oval is the top of the log that he's standing on. And then in the center, we're going to start with a little bit of a swirl. And then we're going to have those circles coming out for that log. It doesn't have to be perfect, just some, some circles coming around on the log, always starting in a circular shape, just like that. Following the same shape as that oval that we just drew down and come down for the shape of that log and then we're gonna have some lines coming down here just like that doesn't have to be perfect and then we're gonna have some lines coming over at an angle and then straight down these are gonna be kind of like, you know how sometimes logs have cuts in them from where people cut them? I don't know if you've ever seen a log out where uh, a tree was cut down, but sometimes they have these little jagged spots coming off of them. And that's what these are supposed to be here. Just like that, okay? And you can go back and darken up anything that you wanna darken up or fix anything that you wanna fix. Maybe you want your eyebrows a little bushier that if you want. Okay, and there we have it, our Lorax from Dr. Seuss. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope that you had fun drawing our Dr. Seuss characters together. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so that you'll be alerted next time I add new videos. Also, if you have any suggestions for me or anything that you would like to see me do a drawing tutorial on, please um, comment in the comment section below and maybe the next video I add will be one that you suggested I do. Thanks again for joining me. Take care and God bless.